<laughs> All right, guys, today I'm going to go over tools to use to help support your health and work efficiency. Let's go. Hi, you guys, this is Jen from Informatics Life, where I give you insight on real world informatics and healthcare in technology. <laughs> Today, I really want to do a video on items that I use that have helped my health, that's going to help you, as well as helps your work efficiency. Top priority of all is your health. Okay, you guys, stepping into the informatics realm, you could be sitting behind a desk 90% of your day. You could be sitting behind a desk 50% of your day. You could be sitting behind a desk 10% of your day. It depends on what department you work on. That's all I can say. But for those of you who know you will be sitting behind a desk for, even if, if it's for 30%, 40% of your, your day, trust me when I say this, there are some things that you need to put in place in order to protect your health. You are stepping away, if you're stepping away from bedside, where you're used to just walking up and down the unit all day long, you know, you're constantly moving, and now you're gonna be sitting for 20% of your day, 30% of your day, sometimes 90% of your day. Um, and sometimes you might have to go out and round. But I really want to help you in your health. Some of you know me from my other YouTube channel, Yes, I have another YouTube channel. It's called Epic, E-P-E-C, Empower People, Empower Change, where my husband and I share financial tips, money tips, and plant-based health tips. That was like, whoa, right? <laughs> that was unintentional, unintentionally. Oh, whoa. So, <laughs> so yes, I am a big supporter of health. Um, your body does change a lot when you're actually sitting down for a lot. They call it, what, the new smoking or something because you're not moving and you're sitting. Yeah, I have had weight gain since I have transitioned to working behind the desk. When I was on the floor, I was always moving. So now that I'm in informatics, there are certain things that I have to put in place to protect my health. Now, key thing here is definitely take breaks. If you can get out and walk, Every two hours, every hour, maybe take a two minute walk. <sighs> get as much energized, energy that you can get out. Move those legs, allow circulation to move through your, from your foot to, your, to your, you know, your heart, get it pumping. Super important, okay? So I don't wanna take away from the normal things that need to be included in your work day. You need to move if you're sitting behind a desk, even if it's 30% of the day, you need to move, okay? Aside from walking, taking those breaks to walk, I'm gonna show you some extra tools that I have that I use throughout my day because they have helped me. I want to share them so that they can help you too because I care about my health, but I also care about your health because we're all in this together for patient care and as well as medical staff liaisons. You gotta stay healthy here, okay? The first thing I wanna talk about is, you see behind me, right? I have three monitors, okay? I mean, for work efficiency, that was key, okay? Because when you're doing project management, answering emails, trying to create PowerPoint presentations, whatever it is, it's hard when you're clicking down, trying to open something, and you gotta click it down again because you're trying to see something else and click down here and try to... <laughs> I honestly couldn't stand that myself. So it's a whole new world over here, you guys. So if you're fresh meat into the informatics realm, buying multiple monitors is going to be helpful. Uh, I'm not saying you have to have three. You know, I'm in a management role. There's a lot of stuff that I do all day. I have to keep track of nursing data security. I have to keep track of uh, my emails. Emails galore. <laughs> I, I keep my MS teams up to make sure I'm supporting my team. I'm here to serve them. So I gotta make sure I'm always on alert to see if they have any needs. Of course, I have my cell phone in front of me too because if I get texts from my team, my teammates, I have to be there for them and I want to be there for them. So the, I need a good amount of monitors, okay? I want to provide an excellent service. So this is how I feel that I can do that with multiple monitors 
to make my day work efficiency easy, moving things around, pr doing presentations, whether it's um, supporting other people. So, oh, oh, keeping everything that I'm mentioning, I'm gonna put some links down below so that you can purchase it as well, okay? But if you work with a laptop, okay, one laptop, your company may provide extra monitors to you. If they don't, I had to get a few monitors myself for out of my own expense, but you can buy, monitors are not that expensive, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like just the monitor itself. But one thing you have to make sure, of course, is talk to your IT people to make sure that you can have a docking station that you can dock you know, your laptop on and it has different connections in the back because whatever monitor you get, you wanna make sure your the docking station, okay, the wires for the monitors will fit in the docking station. And I have three monitors as you see behind me. So when I close my laptop, it reflects one of my monitors. And this is the kind of stuff you're gonna learn in, in informatics, it's gonna reflect one of my, my screen on the laptop, but it also gives me an extended view. Like I can put three different things up. So I have like, it's pretty much a big space. Highly recommend before you purchase anything, talk to, or you have an idea, like print it out. I said the links are down there. Say, hey, IT, would this, if I purchase this monitor, will I be able to connect it to the docking station? A lot of times they will help. It really depends on your display port, VGA port. Uh, if you have an HDMI port, you're like, what the heck is all that? This is all stuff that I learned in informatics. You gotta learn how to know that stuff, especially when you're trying to connect to different people's screens. <laughs> so you, gotta, you have to like pick up that kind of lingo. All right, some of it's basic for people, but some of it is like, okay, no, I, you, especially, I was a nurse coming from bedside. So I'm like, a VGA what? A display port what? <laughs> Okay, if I can learn it, you can learn it. All right, so that's, I recommend work efficiency, get you at least two extra monitors, three, whatever, whatever you can get, get it, okay? Um, and of course, if it's a waste, don't bother. Like if you know you're not gonna use it, don't waste money. I'm a financial coach too. Don't do that, <laughs> don't do that. But of course, if it brings value to your work efforts, go for it. All right, so that was the first thing I wanna talk about is the monitors. The next thing I wanna talk about is one of my babies, okay? I do work from home um, right now. It might change in the future, we'll see. But I work from home right now, okay? One thing that was a gift that I am so grateful for is a standing desk. Yes, I'm gonna talk about the standing desk because it's a game changer. I love it. It helps with your circulation, your support for your legs. Uh, it helps you get up and move around. Um, I do squats. I do my leg lifts while I'm working. I'm just like, uh, uh, I'm moving because I need to move. And that's the benefit of a standing desk. So I'm gonna show you how my standing desk works if I can find it on Amazon, I'll put it. This is one that I recommend. And I'm gonna get up close and personal with you so you can see the little ins and out of this desk. I love it. I thought it wasn't too expensive for my health. <laughs> I think it was cheap for me to retain my health. So uh, please, I'll, I'll put a few down there so you can choose what kind of thing that you want. This is rather large. I had to get a wide one, as you see. Why? because I do have three monitors, but there's tons of different sizes that'll fit what you need, okay? Do you. Okay, so let's get up and close and personal with my desk right now. Okay, so looking at my desk up close and personal, um, I did, I make sure all of my monitors are aligned because I don't like looking down. I like looking straight ahead while I'm, you know, sitting down. This desk does come with a drawer. I don't have much in it because I keep everything on the side, but if you want to fill stuff up with it, by all means do so. So what I want to show you, one thing here, is that it does come with a few height. You can do some settings for whatever height you want it. This, of course, is how you go up and down with it. And before I show you how it goes up and down, as you see this circle here, it does come with a wireless charging station. So I like that. And because 
honestly, like sometimes I forget my wire, I'm looking for my wires around the house and I can just sit it on top of my desk and it charges for me. The adjustments here can um, let you raise it up a certain height. There are settings on here, like say for instance, uh, maybe a few people use a desk. You could purchase this and put it in your office if you want. Or you can at home, if maybe your husband or you or somebody else shares a standing desk with you, you can actually do some settings for the height. It's just me, so I really don't need to do the, all of that. As you see on this screen, it has some H1, H2, H3. You can actually set it for a certain height for like maybe you're sharing a desk with someone and you can do like three different settings for a height that you want it to memorize. Like a smart desk was preset. What I wanna go into now is the timer. So say for instance, you're just like, you wanna be more diligent about your timing of standing up. You can actually set it to automatically raise. Make sure it doesn't interrupt any of your meetings if you're on like <laughs> Zoom calls or whatever. So you can actually set it to, you know, 105, two hours, um, and so on and so forth. So that is going to be up to you to do that. All right. The height adjustment again is like I said, for your, um, if people are sharing your desk. So moving to the side here, um, if my phone is right here, as you see my hand, my, so here is where you can actually charge your phone as well. If you don't have a smartphone that has a wireless charging capabilities. And also the buttons on top, what I was pressing and showing you guys, you can actually lock it in place. So that way, as throughout your day, you're you know touching the screen, um, it will lock it to where you won't make a mistake and, and go up or down <laughs> or do something crazy with it. So again, I actually like this feature. Um, it avoids me making some crazy mistakes throughout my day, okay? And then me sitting something on my desk and it goes up and down. So always use this lock feature to lock your a smart desk in place. Last but not least, the ultimate part of this is it going up and down. So one important thing is I have to pull my monitors back because I do have a ridge behind me. You're gonna see some yellow notes on my wall. Those are just inspirational messages that I, when I listen to things, I stick post-it notes up there. Yeah, don't judge me. Okay, judge me, I don't care. All right, so I'm gonna show you with here how I do that. Of course, I have to unlock my desk. Remember I showed you about the locking and then I raise it up, okay? Uh, one thing you do wanna make sure is that below, below you guys, you need to make sure that you, you have long enough wires. I know it looks like a hot mess under there, but pretty much you just wanna make sure your wires are in place and you have enough length. Cause the last thing you want to happen is you raise your desk up and <laughs> everything gets unplugged. That would be so uncool, okay? So as I'm standing up, of course I wanna have my desk tall enough to where I am still have my vi visual view of my monitor and then I have my wrist rest, okay? And then I'm able to type as I need to for my day. Excellent, 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 I love it. Okay, so as I showed you, I showed you um, the smart desk. I just talked to you about the monitors. Let me go into another thing I added on to out of my purchasing is my Logitech camera, okay? Because we live in the age of technology, you guys. So. A lot of us are working from home, part-time or full-time, whatever. And because I closed my computer, okay, to get all three monitors up, because I do that, I need to have an external camera. And it's pretty easy, again, talk to your IT people, but I just, it's a USB port, I just stick it into my computer. And then when I turn on any type of Zoom call or MS Team call, um, or Skype, if you still have Skype, I think they're phasing that out. It picks up this camera. It pretty much was so super easy to download the drivers and everything. Again, talk to your IT support about that. So I'll put this and get a link down below. This is very helpful. Again, if you don't need this, don't even worry about it. But because I closed my laptop, I have to have an external camera so that people can see me. Not that they want to see me, but so they can see me throughout my day. All right, moving along. So we've covered a lot already. So I'm gonna go down here to the floor. 
this is a great addition. I can't tell you enough. Down here below, you'll see my mat, okay? It is a standing mat. And I never realized how hard the floor was until I got a standing desk and had to stand in place. <laughs> I was like, wow, I feel every crevice of the floor. Oh my gosh, my feet are so sore. So this particular mat is for my chair. I'll show you my chair in a moment. My chair sits on the flat part, but as I'm standing throughout my day, I'm actually on a soft foam cushion for my feet. Amazing. I felt such a big difference while I was working and I could do some foot dances. Okay. <laughs> All right. So seriously though, um, get a foot support, your standing support. Um, do it. Okay. If you have a standing desk, get this. Your feet are going to feel so much better. Um, I'll put the link down there. Um, it just does wonders. It helps support, give you foot support. It also protects you from um, just wear and tear on your body. I pull my mat out whenever I am working and I need to stand. Here, let me show you this. When I'm sitting, I actually have this cushion. <laughs> y'all like this girl, oh my gosh, listen to me y'all. I gotta take care of my body. So when I'm sitting in my chair, I actually put my feet up and I'm able to angle and do some simple exercises as I'm sitting down or standing up. So this is like a nice soft cushion as well that I use sitting or standing, okay? So when I'm done pretty much with, for standing, I'll pull my mat up, put that over like that. I'll put my foot rest up whenever I need to. I don't always use that. Then I'll roll my chair over there. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense to you, okay? And now I'm protecting my floor, which my floor needs protection from a roller desk. <laughs> All right, and then what I do is I go ahead and I lower my desk back down to about yay high. And again, don't forget, you wanna go to the side here and lock it, okay? That way nothing is working. I've showed y'all a lot. I'm gonna show you two more things <laughs> that I use throughout my day, um, or they're just tools that I recommend you get, okay? Lastly, are these two things here. You have a back support. A lot of these things are very in, um, inexpensive. And again, they're inexpensive, but value your health, okay? If you're gonna be sitting down for any part of your day, take care of your body, okay? And now I'm not saying like nurse and documentation. I mean, like I said, 20% of your day, get these things. This is a Samsonite. I'll see if I can find this on, uh, or something very similar to it. So that way you guys can purchase it too. But this is pretty simple. Back support. All you do is, Wrap it around your chair. It typically fits all types of chairs, okay? And then, as I'm sitting down, it gives me extra added back support. All right, because I'm not gonna lie, sometimes throughout my day, I find myself like this, okay? I need to make sure my back is in full support as I'm working. And I'm actually going to lower my desk some more because I want, again, I want my head straight ahead. I don't wanna be looking down. I don't wanna be looking up. I wanna be looking straight ahead, okay? So I'll bring it down some more and then lock it in place. You got it? I hope you're getting it, <laughs> okay? Now, lastly is what I wanna talk about is my chair. This is a great chair. Um, it does already have some type of support here. But sometimes I just need, again, I just need some extra added support throughout my day. And I like having that flexibility. This is actually a gamer chair. <laughs> yes, gamers game all day. So they design chairs in order for gamers to be sitting their butt down, playing some video games, making a million dollars. Did we get in the wrong field? Sometimes I question that. <laughs> if you think about going into gaming, maybe, maybe you need to reconsider that one. <laughs> For us informatic nurse specialists, 
buy you a gamer chair or buy you a cushion chair. I, I, you know, this works well for me. It has good head support. It has a pretty good back support already. And then it's cushioned. It's cushioned all over. Of course, it's a typical chair where, of course, it goes up and down. Just kidding. It goes up and down. If I want to go lower or up. Um, and then this, it has a lever too that can adjust your back, back and forth, or ju or just your bottom part. So um, I like it. It's very simple. It fits right under my desk because I, when I want to uh, go up and then I put my feet up on my cushion in the back, um, it's just a lot of added support for me. Again, the back is pretty good, but again, when I'm just trying to move my body around throughout the day, I've added my extra back support if necessary. All right, you guys, I know I like said a whole bunch of items, but again, these are things that I found that have worked well for me in my career, has helped my back, has helped my feet, <laughs> has helped me to stay energetic and exercise, as well as um, just be the best me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> again i'll put all the links down below feel free not to buy feel free to buy it is all up to you baby be do you be you okay i'm an advocate of being healthy i think it's super important um you know working in the they say stress levels in nursing can cause you to use some lose some years in life also sitting can do the same thing so i don't want anybody out there losing years because you're just sitting behind a desk not doing anything extra and the investment is worth it. Don't buy anything, financial coach speaking to you, do not buy anything until you know you absolutely necessary need it, okay? Just don't go out there wasting money, okay? Get what you actually need, all right? <laughs> for me, I did a little extra. I got a lot of people to serve out there. I'm on a mission for changing lives. <laughs> all right, you guys, if you like this kind of information, like and subscribe down below. And I hope that you watch the next video. Oh, you probably haven't seen this shirt yet, right? If you're interested in one of these informatic shirts, you'll see the link down below as well. Get your shirt too. Let's rock it together and let's continue to change the world with healthcare technology one day at a time. Signing off, your informatics nurse specialist. Bye. Okay. Oh.